Welcome back, everyone, to one of the world's great cities, Paris, this week, where some of the world's finest figure skaters are on the ice inside the Bear Sea Omnisport Palace. And right now, the men on the ice warming up for their short programs. Harry Gannon, Peter Carruthers back with you. And among those warming up, two-time and reigning world champion Alexei Yagudin of Russia, trying to win his third consecutive Grand Prix event. The first one, though, a non-scoring event at Skate America, and quite honestly, he has not skated a clean program yet, so he's trying to take it to the next level and now secure a spot in the Grand Prix Final in Lyon, France. And Peter, the other skater that we have really focused on, Michael Weiss, the U.S. men's champion. A very important competition for him here, and he's had his problems. Well, he does have his problems. The problem is he has an injury on his left foot. He has a stress fracture, and what he has to do is actually put an aluminum plate in his skate to protect the injury from what we call boot bang or further injure it with the stress that he has on the big jumps that he has planned in the competition. How this affects him in the short program, well, it really does because the opening jump is the quadruple toe loop, and the left foot is the foot you jab in to send you up into the air to do those four big rotations. So we could get an idea of how Michael's going to mm -hmm. do in the very first part of his program. Get that idea right away. Right now, the overall Grand Prix standings look like this. Elvis Stoiko in the lead with 16 points. Remember, though, Yagudin has only competed in one event in which it is a scoring competition. You can compete in up to three events, but only two of them actually count in the standings. And Michael Weiss right now in eighth with five points. Peter, what about the required elements here in the short? Well, actually, there are a lot of things that the men have to do. They could do a double or a triple axle. They can do a triple or a quad jump combination, double and a triple or a triple, triple, a flying spin, spin camel or a sit, spin combination, and two step sequences. So a lot of required elements in just a short time to do it. Rest on cool. And that short period of time, two minutes and 40 seconds to be exact in this short program worth one third of the overall score. And we get underway with a skater from France, Vincent Restancourt, the silver medalist from the Junior World Championships just a season ago, only 18 years of age. Opens with the big triple axle, followed right up. Double toe loop. Stancourt won the silver medal at the French Nationals last year, finishing just behind Laurent Tobel. Says if he doesn't finish in the top three here, he will not go on to compete in any more of the Grand Prix events because he would like to focus on the French Nationals. That's a tall order. Flying spin as he jumped into the air and then immediately hit a spinning 
position required that you have to have a jump before you initiate the spin. So we get underway with one of the hometown favorites. Lives just outside of Paris. 18-year-old Vincent Restancourt. Right off the bat, it's unusual to look down at the ice like that. That's not good technique. He does get up into the air and have a good triple axle, but then just an easy double. Would have been nice to have a triple on the back end of that nice triple axle, but amazed that he gets the height with the head looking down like that. Again, attempt at the quad. Timing was wrong, so you get off a big double instead of four rotations. Usually in any sport, where the head goes, the body follows. That's very true, but he was able to actually get some good height rotation, but not all the way through the program. First set of marks. 4.5 up to 5.0 for required elements. His coach, Andre Brunet, left side of the screen. Worked with Philippe Candeloro for many years. And now for presentation, 4.9 to 5.1 for Vincent Restancourt, the first skater here in the men's short program. And we will return with more of the men's short program here at Trophy La Ligue in Paris in a moment. Back inside the Bercy Arena, Terry Gannon, Peter Carruthers, and the men's short program continues now with the reigning world champion, Alexei Yagudin of Russia. This is his second scoring competition. He can secure a spot at the Grand Prix Final. Looking for his third win in as many events in the Grand Prix. Actually, Terry, this is his sixth competition of the season. And let's see how he handles this huge opening quad landing. Mm. Such an athlete. He wasn't in perfect position at the end, but his strong lower back pulled him up to land it. That is textbook perfect. Straight as an arrow on both jumps. Elementary for him to just have a big, easy double axle. Two and a half rotations there. This is one of his step sequences that's required. Quick changes of direction. Good upper body movement to go with the footwork. Well, he just keeps delivering these great short programs here in the season. It's been impressive to watch, and he seems to be getting better. 
that he could tell he really wanted to skate a clean program too because the two wins at Skate America, Skate Canada, really he was not up to his normal level of competition. I mean, he was falling all over the place at Skate Canada. He still won. He wanted to skate cleanly here, got off to a great start. We just see this as commonplace with Yagudin. Mm -hmm. This is the quad. Count him. Four rotations. That left leg and the position that he has with his upper body and lower body allow him to do that. Even pitching forward like that and then straightening up to land it. Tremendous strength. Great athlete. And this does not get any better. Look, you can just draw a line straight up and down. That's just terrific. No problem. He nails it. Fast enough. Well, his third Grand Prix event, you mentioned his sixth competition overall. He says after this, he's going to go take a week off, do nothing in Miami. Well, I think, play in the sun. Actually, look at, he's skating well, and why not in the middle of the season to do that? He might need a little break. A lot of stress on the legs and body with all these jumps. Mm, 5.6 to 5.8. For required elements is coach Tatiana Tarasova on the left side of your screen. And you make a good point. All the wear and tear of doing those quads on the body. He said sometimes he wakes up in the morning, feels like an old man. Presentation marks extremely high. Five eights and five nines for Alexei Yagudin, the reigning world champion. Back in Paris, the men's short program continues now and a tough act to follow for Ivan Denev of Bulgaria. Coming right off of Alexei Yagudin's performance, here's the man who finished 14th at the World Championships last season. Triple Axel will be the first jump. You can always remember that an Axel is the only jump that takes off forwards. Nice. And then coming to a grinding halt on the second jump. Fortunate end to that short program for Adan Ivandinev, the 21 year old from Sofia, Bulgaria, three time national champion, who is currently completing his service in the Bulgarian Army. And you can see here 
Always the forward takeoff. That's the triple axle. Good rotation. And backs it up with a triple toe loop. But look how he comes to a stop. If you don't keep your flow glide going across the ice, that's what happens. All right, so let's see now. The first set of marks, required elements, 4.3 up to 5.0. And that's a reflection of the mistakes that we did see. Required elements really taking their toll on mistakes on jumps. Wide range there, 4.3 from the American judge and the 5.0 from the French judge. Now presentation 4.9 up to 5.5. From his own judge, 5.5. So Vandenev into second place behind Alexei Yagud. And up next, the pressure is on the reigning U.S. men's champion. Michael Weiss will take the ice needing a good performance to stay alive in the Grand Prix series. Back in Paris, the men's short program continues. Alexei Yagudin in the lead as Michael Weiss, the reigning U.S. men's champion, takes the ice. The 23-year-old from Fairfax, Virginia, needing a solid performance, maybe a top three here overall, to stay alive in the Grand Prix. Music on the waterfront. Remember that injury could come into play right here. The quad toe, not even close. Wow, that was a hard fall. You wonder how that ankle holds up too with the fall, the stress fracture that he's dealt with for a month and a half. Taking medicine to regenerate the calcium in that bone. And for him, it's mind over matter. He was willing himself to do that but what a comeback there. Nice triple axle, triple toe. Excellent. Position in that sit spin, nice and low to the ice. I tell you, I give him a lot of credit for getting up after that fall and then continuing on. That was a real crack on the ice on that quad. Brought it back, didn't he, after the nasty fall on the quad? Well, no matter what happens for Michael on the ice, it's been a great couple of years. Came of age as a skater last year, the World Bronze Medal. Of course, Annie May, his daughter, born in September of 98, and his wife Lisa giving birth to Christopher Michael on October 21st, just last month. I... I'm amazed. Uh, he really went for this thing. He was not holding back whatsoever. That left foot picking in to get the height, but just not even close to hitting the landing. Short of rotation. A real hard fall, and you just get rocked when you hit the ice that hard. But look at the comeback here. Awesome. Triple axle. Bang. Triple toe loop. 
great composure to bring it in like that. His longtime coach, Audrey Wiziger, who's also the USFSA Coach of the Year. In 1999, first set of marks now for Michael, 5.2 to 5.4. He really went for it. He's actually been bringing the quad Lutz back as of late. Thinking about maybe using that instead of the toe loop. And for presentation now in the 5.5 to 5.8 range, so those much better. So Michael in a good position right now. He's, despite the fall on the quad, in second place right behind Alexei Yagudin, the reigning world champion. And when we come back, the reigning champion of France here on home ice. He lives just outside of Paris. Laurent Telbel will take the ice next. With Alexei Yagudin leading here in the men's short program over Michael Weiss and Ivan Denev of Bulgaria. Here is the home crowd favorite, Laurent Tobel, all six foot four of him, trains and lives right here in Paris, the reigning French national champion. Six four. When this guy gets up into the air, it is spectacular to watch. The triple axle, the first, and then the triple toe <laughs> nails it. Slip there, almost went down, but there's no deduction because not performed on a required element. What you gotta love about Tobel is he always seems to inject his personality into a performance, even a short program like this when the focus is on these eight required elements. Always gets a response from the crowd, but imagine how excited he is to skate here in Paris with this crowd. Remember he did the triple axle earlier. Very easy double. Rotation not as fast because he has such great height. Part of it's his stature at 6'4". The other part just the quality of entertainment he puts out there. Unlike any other skater on the world scene today. I well, appreciate Tomo. that. <laughs> it's just fun to watch. It is, it? isn't it? It mixes things up, throws a nice dynamic into the whole mix for sure. And he is definitely a strong skater on top of that. Speaking of strong, look at the height that he gets. Three and a half revs. One, two, three. Checks out, almost lost it there, but gets up into the triple toe loop and lands it successfully. I'll let you take this replay, Terry. 
Well, this would be the triple question mark. Yeah. <laughs> Beautifully executed. Second time that we have seen him in the Grand Prix. Sixth place finish at Skate Canada, but a great free skate there. First set of marks, 5.1 to 5.4, and you heard the crowd react unfavorably to those. Deuxième note. Second mark. Yeah, those are pretty good marks for Toe Bell. He should be happy with that. Presentation, though, 5.2 to 5.6. Probably not as high as he thought he would get from the judges. But Toe Bell into third place. So he's in the top three right now behind Yagudin and Weiss. So for Alexei Yagudin, maybe the cleanest, the best performance so far in the year, although he has been clean in the short programs in Grand Prix events to this point. Michael Weiss in a great spot right behind him in second. And Laurent Tobel in third. Remember, you go into that free skate. If you're in the top three, you control your own destiny. If you win that portion of the competition, you are the overall champion. Right now, Peter Carruthers has made his way over to have a word with the U.S. men's champion, Michael Weiss. Peter? Thanks, Terry. Two of the top men in the world of figure skating, Alexei Yagudin, a great performance. How did that quad feel? Actually, you know, when you land quad, it feels great. But when you fell, it's terrible. So I was pretty happy today because I skated clean and conditions were su such a beautiful because not like in Colorado Springs altitude and then skate Canada was really hard to skate but so here I came like one week ago and I feel great. Well congratulations good luck in the free program. Thanks. As I turn to Michael Weiss I gotta tell you you were bombing into that quad but did it get up in the air the wrong way? It did. I, I didn't quite get the height I'd like to. Um, I, I actually felt good in the air. I felt like in the air I was going to land it. But uh, when I came down, I obviously didn't get the height on the takeoff. And, you know, I hit the ice pretty hard. But uh, to get up and to do the triple axle, triple toe after that was, uh, was good for me. Because uh, I, had, I had done that in the past where I missed the quad and then not finished the program well. But I finished it strong. That was awesome. What about the foot? Did that hurt? Um, it, didn't, it didn't actually when I did the jump, but uh, it's been bothering me a little bit. I've had to cut back with the numbers of quads that I've done, but, uh, you know, hopefully I'll be able to, to stick it out when I have to. Well, best, luck, best of luck in the free, Dad. Thank you. See ya. All right, Peter, he needs a new T-shirt, though. He's got Annie May on there, not Christopher Michael. We'll see him uh, maybe in the free skate. He'll have that change. The free skate does come your way over on ABC Sports on Sunday afternoon, beginning at 2 o'clock Eastern, 3 Pacific. Can Alexei Yagudin win his third in a row? Or can Michael Weiss make a comeback to win the title? Along with the ladies' free skate, Sunday afternoon on ABC Sports. Check back in with us. Much more to come, though, tonight from the Bear Sea Arena when we come back. The reigning French national champions of ice dance and the reigning world silver medalist, their debut in the Grand Prix this season. Anasina and Pezera will take the ice. Among the challengers, the American champions. Naomi Lang and Peter Chernyshev. The original dance comes your way next from Paris. <laughs>